So here we have a much larger voting system uh, with five players, and so we're going to list out all the winning coalitions and then identify the, the critical players. And so let's start out here. Let's notice that no two players are going to be able to reach quota by themselves, right? Our two highest ranked players, 17 and 6, only add up to 13. So we're only going to have maybe some three person coalitions that can reach quota. So let's see here. Player 1, player 2, and player 3 together would be 13 and 3 is 16. And so that's going to they're going to reach quota, and because they're just reaching quota, I can tell that all three players are going to be critical there. Uh, let's see here, player 1, player 2, and player 4 uh, would also have a total weight of 16, uh, and all three players will be critical there. Notice that player 1, player 2, and player 5 would not reach quota, uh, so we're not going to consider that one. Likewise, any other three players, like 2, 3, and 4 here, right, they only have a combined weight of 12. They're not reaching quota, and so we don't need to consider them. So these are the only two-person coalitions that reach quota. So next, we'll look at three-person, uh, sorry, four-person coalitions. So let's see here, player 1, player 2, player 3, and player 4. Now we know that this one, that this coalition reaches quota. How do we know that? Because player 1, player 2, and player 3 by themselves can reach quota, uh, like just as player 1, player 2, and player 4 can reach quota by themselves. Now, that would mean that if player 4 were to leave, the remaining three players can still reach quota, so player 4 is not critical. Likewise, if player 3 were to leave, player 1, player 2, and player 4 can reach quota by themselves, so player 3 is not critical. Player 1 and player 2 are critical, because if either were to leave, the remaining three would not be able to reach quota by themselves. So let's see what other coalitions we have that might reach quota. So player 1, player 2, player 3, and player 5 also is a winning coalition. We know this because player 1, player 2, and player 3 can reach quota by themselves, so if you add another person, uh, they're certainly going to still be a winning coalition. In this case, all three of these players are critical, because if player 3 were to leave, player 1, 2, and 5, 1, 2, and 5 here, would only have combined weight of 15, and they would not be able to reach quota by themselves. So player 3 is critical in that coalition. Player 1, player 2, player 4, and player 5 is, uh, because player 3 and player 4 have the same weights, are going to be essentially identical. And then, I think that's all of our four-person coalitions that reach quota. Let's just double-check. If we took these four, that'd be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, they do not reach quota, and so, uh, it, that, that's not going to work. Um, great, so we got one more coalition now, and that is the grand coalition of everybody. And in this coalition, uh, I think player 1 and player 2 are critical. Uh, certainly, we know that if player 1 were to leave, then the remaining 4 cannot reach quota. If player 2 were to leave, uh, 1, 3, 4, and 5, only add up to 15, would not w w reach quota. So only player 1 and player 2 are critical there. Great, so now let's total up. So player 1 is a cr critical, a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Notice that they have veto power. Uh, player 2 is critical 6 times. They also have veto power. Player 3 is critical 1, 2 times. Player 4 is critical 1, 2 times. Player 5 is critical never, which means player 5 is a dummy in this case. Those total up to a total of 16 critical times, and so we can divide each of these by 16 in order to convert them into fractions or decimals. Um, so we end up with 3 eighths, 3 eighths, 1 eighth, 1 eighth, and 0 eighths uh, as our weights, uh, as our Bonds of power weights. And again, you could also convert those into percents if you wanted.